Friday is National UK Fun at Work Day, right? What's the most fun thing that you've ever done at Audio? We've done fun things though. Well, for a fact, people will say, oh, what about that one? What about that one? I've totally forgot. First time we'd all got together since the first lockdowns. And Ainsley, our head of finance, put on Leanne Rhymes' Can't Fight the Moonlight and everyone just went mental, was singing and dancing and was the most fun. What's something that felt like forced fun when you started doing it, but then ended up actually being really fun? Video. <laughs> <laughs> Recruiter's tail. God love whoever takes this one. That was fun because it got to make cocktails and I love a good cocktail, so that was good. Me and you, Kira, when we done the, <laughs> the prank call. Woo! We haven't let, I just don't care. What are you talking about? Don't even know how I got through it without like, laughing until the very end. Nothing's really felt like forced fun, um, but we went to a like 4D like, VR racing place in Glasgow and shockingly I won. I forgot that you won I that. I know. I was just as shocked as Emdy, to be fair. One of the first active recruiters that we had. It was the first time we did the finish line at the office, the old office, and we just had like a little beer machine. Remember that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just a good vibe. That just goes down in history as a good day. Neil Emmett's was good as well. Specifically the race in the boats, because my team won. Actually, surprising to everyone, because I don't think anybody wanted me on their team. I was the winning team, so I was last. <laughs> But Ryan McCabe was so rich and then Steve Laws jumped out his boat. He jumped out the boat to try and drag it as if it was going to go any faster. Boy, can he take losing? <laughs>